What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. This game, what more can be said about it that has not been said? For a beta, I think this is probably the best beta I've ever played in my life. Uh, they, they unlocked Iron Banner for us again today. We got to experience some single player stuff on the moon. And we got to experience some new multiplayer maps which I'm showing right now. And uh, just for the the little the ten days that we've had this game, which the beta will be over tomorrow, um, for the time that we've had it, I've had a hell of an experience. I think that uh, what Bungie did here was brilliant. It was genius to uh, sprinkle some fairy dust on the gaming community to let us know there still is magic out there, and it's on the moon. Uh, the game is phenomenal. The Beastly Thoughts gang and I have really kind of dug our nails into it and enjoyed it and found new things and new weapons and leveled up and, and just touched on it. But the thing is, we know it's just a touch. There's so much more to unlock. I mean, just going into your character's menu screen, you see there are pages and pages of things for you to unlock and level up. And so just that alone, that desire to find everything is going to be like um, a drug. I'm already addicted and it's going to hurt to put this game away. It really is it's going to bother me to know that i got to wait till September to play it. Um, and I know a lot of you guys out there feel the exact same way. I mean, I've been playing other games other than this because there's only so far that you can go right now. But just the, the feeling of going in there with buddies and doing it all over again has been addicting. It's like, you know, just on the, the prospect of finding something new or leveling up something, a new ability. It's just kept me in the game and I really, really have been enjoying it. And it's going to be sad to let it go. But there is so much more stuff coming. In the next 90 days, there is a ton of video games about to be released. And uh, that's what this video is about. I know it's going to be sad to put Destiny away for a few weeks. We're going to get it right back in, a, you know, in September. But in September, we got great games coming. We got great games coming in October. And we got huge games coming in November. And realistically, I looked at this list of games. There is absolutely no way possible that we'd be able to play all these games <laughs> in three months. It's just it's a, it's a scientific impossibility unless you live at home with your parents and you have no responsibilities and you don't get any sleep. There's just too many great AAA titles coming in the next three months for us to play. And so I wanted to go through this list of games that are coming out in the very near future and get you guys' thoughts on these games and which ones you'll be picking up. And I'm going to tell you guys the ones that I'm going to be picking up. Now, I won't be able to pick up more than probably five because I don't have time to play anything more than that. But I'm going to give you guys my top five. And at the end of this list, I want you guys to give me your top five and your thoughts on some of these games in this list. I'm going to start out in September uh, because September is really when Destiny begins. Destiny comes out in September. And so uh, that's a big hitter that month. I think everybody and their grandma is going to buy Destiny in September. Um, I think that game will probably be the best-selling game, if not the best-selling game of the year. I think it's going to break all kinds of crazy records because what Bungie did was genius. They exposed this game to everyone. At first it was a pay-to-play type situation, but then they opened the beta to let everybody know that this game is fun, it works great with multiple players, and it's not broken. Those three things together make for a great experience. You don't get kicked out, you don't lose connections, your weapons work, everything seems to be balanced, and it works well, and it's fun. And so the thing is, they let everyone see that, and everybody's going to remember it until the game comes out. How much fun I had on Destiny. That's what I'm thinking about right now. It's on pause in the living room. And so it's really fun to me. I really have been enjoying it. So I think Destiny's going to move huge numbers in, in September. You guys let me know what you think about that. For Naruto fans out there, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution will be coming to the PlayStation 3 and the 360 in September. Hyrule Warriors for the for the Wii U. I've never really got into deeply into uh, D Dynasty Warriors, but Hyrule Warriors, that game probably deserves some attention just for the fact that they were able to work with Nintendo to bring the, the, the Legend of Zelda world to a game like this and it looks really fun. Forza Horizon 2, I know there's tons of guys out there and, and gals who are big into racing sims and are looking forward to this more expansive open world Forza game. 
Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor will be coming to the Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, and PC in September on the 30th as well. So that's another big game. It looks great. I mean, the game looks phenomenal, and they just released some footage showing uh, part of the story campaign, and it looks really engaging. And, I mean, that's just a beautiful game. I'm really excited to see what that game brings to the table for us gamers. Now, moving on to October, which uh, is my favorite month, by the way, because I love Halloween. You get Smash Brothers, the, the new Super Smash Brothers, on the 3DS. So there, there is that little notation there. This is the 3DS version. It's not the Wii U version, but I still think it's a, it's a pickup for me. I have to grab that. I'm a huge Smash Brothers fan. And I'm just intrigued to see what they do with the with the online capability of it. How many people will be able to play online and what you'll actually be able to do online. Alien Isolation will be coming out on all consoles, including the PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC on October 7th. That game is very atmospheric, very scary game. It's one of the ones where you it's like insomnia. You do not have a weapon, you're basically hiding, you're running and uh, trying to escape these aliens. It looks really scary. And they got some awesome DLC coming too. Now for the big Borderlands fans out there, if you like Borderlands and you you know you've really enjoyed Borderlands, the pre-sequel will be coming to the PS3, 360 and PC on October 14th. I personally am not I feel like after Borderlands 2 I kind of Borderlands myself out. So who, who knows? Maybe this game will be on the radar, but for me it's not. The Evil Within will be coming to the Xbox One, the 360, the PS4, the PS3, and PC on October 14th as well. This game is made by one of the original creators of Resident Evil. So if you like the old school Resident Evil games, I think you should keep your eye on this game. The Evil Within looks really scary. It looks really promising. I've heard a lot of different opinions on the game so far, and I'm just really intrigued to see what, see what one of the originators of Resident Evil can do with his own game and if he can bring back survival horror because I mean it's it's severely lacking right now another great game coming out in October is Evolve it will be coming to the Xbox One, the PS4 and the PC on the 21st this is going to change the game too this is a 4 versus 1 multiplayer arena that lets the single the 1 versus 4 player evolve into something just incredibly powerful and I think that um That'll actually change the way multiplayers are uh, conceived in the future, so I'm excited to see that as well. Assassin's Creed Unity will be coming to the Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC in October on the 28th. I'm not really big into, into Assassin's Creed. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. I know there's tons of you guys out there who are looking forward to it. I It just kind of lost me. The story kind of lost me a few uh, Assassin's Creeds back. And Sunset Overdrive coming to the Xbox One. This looks very fun. A really talented studios behind it. They, you know, used to make games for the PlayStation, and now they're over there working with the Xbox, making magic over there. So, I think that'll be a big seller in October too. And it's coming to um, to Xbox One on the 28th. Now, to end this thing off, we got Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare, which I think will probably be one of the bigger selling games of the year because it's Call of Duty. First of all. <laughs> It's Call of Duty. I mean, really, you can't go wrong because it's Call of Duty, but on top of that, it's a new engine. It, it had a three-year development cycle. It's got Kevin Spacey in it. It looks really fun. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of stuff you can do, and I'm more intrigued, more so than anything else, to see what they're actually going to do with that game. Halo, the Master Chief Collection, will be coming out in November as well, on the 11th, and that's going to be a must-have for Xbox One owners. I mean, that's going to be it's a no-brainer there. You get all the Halo games every Halo game with Master Chief in it and all the maps, the multiplayer maps. The maps that you couldn't even play multiplayer on are now going to be playable. Dragon Age Inquisition got pushed back and now it's coming out November 18th and uh, that's going to be another one for people who want an RPG uh, a trusted name Dragon Age to see what that's going to be all about. It looks great. I'm more inquisitive you know because Dragon Age 2 kind of lost me. And then we got Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby coming to the 3DS on the 21st and Persona Q coming to the 3DS on November 25th. That's a lot of games, guys. And uh, I'll probably be picking up three or four of them myself. Uh, I know for sure I'll want that Smash Brothers. I know I'm getting Destiny. I already totally paid off my um, The Last of Us Remaster Edition. I'm picking that up Tuesday. Um, I'm going to get The Evil Within, and I'll probably end up getting the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So those are my games I'm definitely going to get. You guys sound off in the comment section below and let me know what games on this list 
you're going to be getting in the next couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.